What's going guys, it's Steph Monk here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, late last night, uh, we actually found out that um, Revan Software have actually um, dropped the Champions Quest um, contract. And it looks like um, the first team in the world have actually managed to complete that as of, I believe, yesterday. So as you guys can see, I'm pretty sure you may have heard of one of these at least. B. Bredman. Lulla Shy, 2390, and Bralik, I hope I've pronounced their names right, uh, have actually uh, managed to um, win their first Champions Quest and result get a nuke on the um, Earth's Extant map. Now, I think someone's actually managed to get some video footage of this, and this is from B. Bredman's perspective. I think all of his um, teammates are all uh, dead, so let's take a look at him, see how well he gets on here. So it looks like he's got three different... <coughs> Um, they're like, they're so much fighting. They're on it now, they're on it now. Yeah, someone just had to look out. There's nothing here. Enemies are dropping in here. Down. There's no, there's Four, someone abusing it. Fuck, there's three, someone abusing it. Two, one. I think he died, he died. Yeah, we did it? Yo, no way. We did we get the first nuke? Did we get the first nuke? We had to, bro. <laughs> Chat, someone take a screenshot, bro. Someone take a screenshot. No way we got that shit. Good luck, we don't get it, though. Bro. Oh, Okay guys, so as you guys saw during that uh, piece of footage, B. Bredman and his team um, actually did get managed to get the first nuke. So as you guys can see, if you look in the uh, top left hand corner here, we've got uh, what well, three is to be uh, the three different elements that are needed to actually construct the nuke. Um, <clears throat> I've got what appears to be B, E, P, U, and possibly T. So that's really interesting there. Uh, let me know what you guys' views and thoughts of this in the comments. Now I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys how you go about actually completing the Champion's Quest for that nuke event. So as you guys can see, uh, similar to previous situations to complete Warzone's Earth 6 Champion's Quest, players will have to complete several in-game challenges after winning 30 games total within a season, or win 5 consecutive matches. Uh, so the object, so the step-by-step -step guide on how to complete this champion's quest in Warzone Earth Extant are as follows: Win 30 games total within a season, or win five consecutive matches back to back. Upon entering the match, you'll see the champion's quest contract within Earth Extant. Drop on the location, grab the contract to initiate it, and trigger a 20-minute countdown. When activated, you'll need to acquire the Geiger counter, which will be inside a marked loot cache nearby. When you get it, an area of the map will be marked for the player who possesses it. You'll have to use the Geiger counter to locate the radioactive cache inside this marked area. The higher the radiation the device dials, the closer you will be to, ca to the cache itself. When found, one of the elements, Beryllium, which will reveal your position for other players, will be inside the cache and will activate the next step. Go to the new location marked on the map and open the locked nuclear area. Once you start to run the safe, be sure to defend it and avoid other players interrupting the process. Upon completing the safe defence, another element, plutonium, which will generate a radiation effect, will drop alongside other valuable loot. To find the last element, you have to shoot down the nuclear chopper, which will drop a nuclear crate, and inside it will be the third element, tritium, which disables UAV, radar and vehicles. After obtaining the three elements, the bomb site will be revealed, where you must deposit the, all three elements and arm the bomb. Once the armaments have been placed, interact with the bomb to arm it. Keep in mind that any player in the match can steal it and or prevent you from completing it. When activating, you must defend the nuke for two minutes until it detonates. If you do so successfully, a cinematic will play ending the match and destroying it. Earth extent. So as you guys just saw uh, from um, B. Redmond there, he's managed to, managed to obtain these rewards. Since the process can be quite challenging, players who successfully complete the Champions Quest contract in Warzone will receive various exclusive rewards which are as follows. The number one emblem, fire crew weapon sticker, atomic weapon charm, big boom calling card, warning nuke weapon sticker, dangerous material emblem, the acidic royal weapon camo, and the meltdown 240 operator skin. So that's really interesting there guys. Let me know what you guys views and thoughts of these in the comments box down below. Also, uh, coming from Raven Software, the people who uh, develop Warzone, uh, they've actually found out some rather further interesting information and they wanted to address the issues that players encountered during the Season 1 Reloaded launch period. They have been laying the groundwork for the return of some fan favourite features in upcoming seasons, which has required a degree of preemptive setup in our live environment. Uh, yesterday's update, so this was the 18th, 
Ship with some of that work, and we unfortunately encountered a conflict between live player data and the service. The teams were made immediately aware of the issues and began investigating shortly after the update went live. They rallied studio teams from around the world to get these issues resolved as swiftly as possible. They, as devs, love the game and apologise for the disruption that resulted from the events. Please note that they hold ourselves to a high standard and yesterday's issues did not align with that. With that said, we're also very excited for what's ahead and look forward to bringing the best they can to Warzone. So that's really good news. Uh, they've actually dropped a further tweet. Um, so basically, the one they wanted to know is, what are some of the features they're preparing for while they have time there, we ask? So let's take a look at this rather interesting image here. So as you guys can see, uh, we've got what appears to be a briefcase on top of what appears to be uh, some sort of tower. Now, uh, this briefcase, as you guys can see, it actually has the exact same uh, emblem as the specialist bonus uh, reward that you can get from completing different hidden easter eggs or doing very difficult challenges in the Warzone maps. Now, this specific tower that you're looking at, that this uh, briefcase is actually on at the moment, is a rather interesting location. Now, at first glance, most people will probably not recognise it at first glance, but in actual fact, it's actually one of the towers of Rebirth Island. So, this tower here overlooks the prison in the centre of the map. So, that's really interesting there, guys. So, it looks like we're going to get some specialist bonus rewards, uh, or specialist bonus perk, coming to Rebirth Island when that eventually does drop. Presumably, maybe in Season 2 or Season 3 time frames. So, that's really interesting, guys. Let me know what you guys' reason thoughts of this in the comments box down below. Uh, also, going from my understanding, uh, currently they appreciate the community for their patience as they work through updates to Season 1 Reloaded. And as a reward, we're getting uh, extending the double XP event from now until January 24th, which happens to be my birthday. Granting one hour double XP tokens for player, battle pass and weapon within 48 hours of logging in. So that's really good news, guys. Let me know what you guys have some thoughts of this in the comments. Don't forget guys, also Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Ranked Play is officially live in Modern Warfare 3, so make sure you guys do get the opportunity to get all these really good rewards. We don't exactly have long before the end of Season 1, so make sure you guys do get involved to earn these really exclusive rewards. They will not be available come Season 2, so make sure you guys do get as many of these unlocked as possible. I have got some gameplay already here on the channel of Ranked Play, make sure you guys do check that out. Uh, I think we've also got. F I think I did forget about a certain trailer that dropped uh, yesterday, or I thought the day before, for the multiplayer map Rio. Let's just see if I can dig that specific. Ah, here we go. So, as you guys can see, this is the uh, brand new Modern Warfare 3 map Rio, <coughs> as part of the Season 1 Rio update. So this is the. Uh, it's just going to go through all the POIs the map. So, you've got Main Street. Uh, I've had played a few games on this specific map. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's my of all time. So the main area, but the ball is raised down to the centre of the map. Uh, it's pretty hectic in that map. I uh, haven't done really well with that map so far. So I hope everyone let me know what you guys have opinions on this. This is Market and the Garage. I think we've also got uh, further shots uh, around the outside of the map as well. So. Really interesting map there, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and thoughts of that in the comments. Um, if anyone else managed to find anything else out that I haven't covered already here on my channel, <coughs> let me know in the comments box down below. As you guys can see, we've also got fire cell information there. Frag the hill, ready for anything. This is just a little bit of guidance for those who wanted to know more about the specific map. Um, very, very, very interesting stuff. I did briefly cover this in a previous video, but as you guys can see, you can actually earn or buy, if you will, a Mr. Peaks plush from the Call of Duty shop. Of course, from the uh, Zombies uh, mode, so really, really interesting. Um, so, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Let me know in the comments box down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so I'm upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.